Speaking of national team exiles, England get their campaign underway tomorrow when it comes to Nations <laughs> League action. I was thinking about a sports sign affecting your career. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Let's get word from England's interim manager Lee Carsley on Ben White's situation right now. In previous camps, uh, Ben White made himself unavailable yeah. to uh, Gareth Southgate and, yeah. and the previous manager and coaches. Could you just explain to us what the situation is for him from your point of view? Yeah, so as far as, far as I'm, a, I'm aware with that, he, was, he, was, he wasn't available for selection. Um, nothing's changed in, in my two weeks of, of being he here. So that's, that's sort of where, where I'm at with it. Um, you know, like, like, like yourself, um, yeah, I've, I've seen in, in some of the press reports that, that, that he was open to, but that it's gone no further. So as, as far as I'm aware, there's been no change there. And then, will that be a conversation you have in the future if he obviously continues to play well? Well, he's, he's, he's always played well, but he was he made himself un, unavailable for, for selection. So I'm not, I'm not sure what where, where, where we go with that. Frank, what do you make of this situation? Same thing. I mean, um, Ben White is going to regret it at some point. And, and, and on top of it, Steve Holland is not even in the, in the squad anymore. So why the reason to say, no, I don't want to play anymore? I mean, come on, Ben White. You know, it's England. It's a national team. It's something that every kid have dreamt about. And, uh, and you refuse to, to even say what you want to do and what the reason are. Because now there is no, you know, excuses, let's say, or, or reasons why you don't want to play for, for your national team. And again, it's sad for you. It's sad for the country, but nobody is, uh, well, you know, uh, we can, can get substitute everybody. But for you, just for you, as a football player, you have to think about you and your career and what is the best for your career. And yes, it's good to play for Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal is a big club, but you have the, 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 the chance to play for the Three Lions. You are missing a big opportunity to enjoy your life as a football player. It's, it's Ben White, a good enough player. And has he had a good enough career to feel like he has the leverage to say, England, not good enough for me? Come on. <laughs> at, at some point, you have to take a good look in the mirror and say, hey, I'm playing well. I have warranted the attention from the national team coach. Now I'm excited about being part of the national team. And it's England. It's England. And you, you are now turning your back on your own national team. And the reasons are beyond me, because as just Frank just said, the, the reason as to why you are, didn't make yourself available was for a coach that is not even a part of the picture any longer. But for a player like Ben White, I understand, like, listen, Thibaut Courtois can have his ego, because there is room there as to why he has an ego, because he has achieved things that I, 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 suppo I suppose, not that I agree, but I, at least he could make the argument of, hey, Look, I'm the best goalkeeper in the world. Ben White is not the best right back in the world. Ben White, at this point, is in, is in a place in which he should be thankful that he gets the opportunity to go to the national team. Instead, he's, he thinks he's in a position in which he can say, no, national team, not for me. Nonsense. Shaka? Uh, listen, I, I'm going to agree. I, I think uh, Ben White, I don't see any difference between Ben White and, and Thibaut Courtois in that a player can make whatever decision he wants about his international football, his international career. That's entirely up to him. But at no point does the national team um, have to bend their rules. At no point do they have to succumb to your, your requests. If you make that decision, that's on you. Just don't expect anybody, regardless, again, to, to the point, regardless of whether you're Ben White and you're deserving to being called the best right back in the world or not, or your Thibaut Courtois, who is deserving of being called the best goalkeeper in the world or not. It does not matter. You're standing in the game. If that's your decision, stand by it. If you want to reverse it, then you have to, you have to make amends. That's not on the national team to do for you. But can I just say, there's a lack of appreciation. Sorry, Herc. There's a lack of appreciation of the importance of what being a national team mm. player does for you and your profile as a player and what it does for you as, as, as you get done playing, because everybody thinks that they're going to play forever, and let me tell you, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> as you walk away from the game, the fact that you can call yourself a national team player, and not just a guy that had a cup of coffee with the national team, but a guy who actually stuck around with the national team for years upon years, gives your career a completely different profile. And I don't think this player's 
have the big picture in mind to understand national team has tremendous important value. Value that is not defined by a contract. It's value that is defined by what you did and you, to deserve being called one of the best 22 players in your country. You know, to, to, to that point, Ali, Goodness. and, and, and I, I find this is something I see with English players more than anybody else. And now, I grew up wanting to represent Trinidad and Tobago. International football had a certain standing in my mind as to what it meant for me as a football player. But the number of English players I've heard over the years say they feel more passionate about their club team, especially those players who represented clubs that the city that they were from. Um, the number of English players I have heard say they feel more passionate about their club team than their national team always amazed me because I, I granted, listen, I am from Trinidad Tobago playing club football in England. Um, so I could, I would never have that affinity with any football club. But I just couldn't understand it. I, I'm, I'm not sure if Frank felt the same playing in France. I, 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 I couldn't tell you. Frank? No, no, that's, that's, that's impossible for me to think that playing for any club in the world would be enough for me if I don't play for my national country. That's, that's, the, that's the, the holy grail, for a grail, sorry, a grail. It's something important for us, and Ali expressed it very, very well. You know, playing for your club team, it's good. Play, winning the Champions League is even very good. But it's not, it's not comparing to winning a World Cup or, winning or having the possibility to, 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 to win a World Cup. Only play a World Cup like Shaka did with uh, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and, uh, and that's something special. And uh, um, you have to put your national team above everything. As Ali said, it's not even a contract. It's just something you want to because it's your dream as a young guy. When we all when we were very young, we dreamt about playing for the national team. And that's only something that you can get because you were a good player with your club. This to me is so much more different than Thibaut Courtois. I somewhat understand Thibaut Courtois because his rift is with the head coach, the main man. Ben White has a rift with the assistant coach. I, I've never heard of that. <laughs> the former assistant coach. The former coach. assistant coach. You're absolutely right, which is absolutely rude. It's a, it's a past regime, and yet you are so stubborn that you say, nah. Mm -mm. They got to come find me. Yeah. That to me just blows my mind. It's the national team. Nobody is indispensable. The national team moves on. And Ali's right. Ben White should be very fortunate to feel himself part of that.